Today's lesson is all about voicemails. Oftentimes in your role, you're gonna be required to call someone and they're not always gonna answer the phone. We wanna equip you with a template so that you know how to leave a voicemail with all of the pertinent and relevant information for the person you're calling. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Mike Malloy from Malloy Industries at 443-694-1545. It's 1230 on December 8th and I'm calling you today to see if you need any help with marketing and developing your marketing strategy for 2022. Again, this is Mike Malloy at 443-694-1545. Please give me a call back at your earliest convenience. Thanks and hope you have an awesome day. So as you can see with that template message, you wanna clearly communicate your name, your company, your phone number, the reason you're calling, and then circle back and repeat your name and phone number because they often won't write down your phone number the first time you say it. You want to include in the beginning in case they listen and then got to listen to it again. And it helps to actually smile while you're leaving the voicemail because they can hear that inflection in your tone and end with a positive note. Now, you're not always going to nail the voicemail on the first try. And so there are a few options when you get to the end of recording it where you can push one. And after you push one, it'll say, if you're satisfied, push one, that's great. To listen to your message, push two. The one I use most often is number three, to erase and re-record the message because I might've stumbled over what I was trying to communicate. And option four allows you to actually continue recording where you left off if you wanna go that case. And now after you actually leave the voicemail, you wanna follow up via text message, especially if you're calling someone who doesn't have your phone number already in their phone. You know, if I see someone calling, I don't know it, I'm unlikely to answer it. And I'm also unlikely to be in any rush to check the voicemail. So you can follow up with a quick text message Something like, hey, it's Mike from Malloy Industries. Do you have a few minutes to chat today? You know, you don't need a, a long, verbose conversation. What you're really just trying to do is identify for the prospect, the person you're calling, who you are and what the purpose is in case they don't check their voicemail at all, or at least for a few days. And some people may prefer to text back and forth. You can use the text message feature to then coordinate with them a time that works for their schedule today or later this week to uh, call you back. And so your assignment is to call me on my cell phone at 443-694-1545 and leave a voicemail with the following script. If you call me and I happen to answer the phone, just say, hey, Professor Malloy, I'm leaving you a voicemail as part of the assignment. Uh, I'll hang up, you can call me right back and I won't answer so you can actually leave the voicemail. Thanks and I hope you have an awesome day.